So we have structures that we may build a session um, for our participants to take part in and then discover that it's not what our participants want to talk about. So we switch gears and we do something else. So it's really about, and it takes a lot of training to be able to do it because some of the methods used about an extensive training I think can be very dangerous and maybe go to that idea of director me telling you what to do. But that's not what our work's about at all. Um, so, there's, there's a, there's a real difference between that and the, it's really balancing the structure and the freedom of the sessions. And that often, even in our work with social workers, we ask them, what do you want to talk about? What are the themes that are important to you? And then they generate a giant list of themes. And then from those themes, they pick one. They decide what theme we're going to focus on for that session. And then we create pieces of theater based on that theme. So not about being a great actor, it's about doing some things, about getting up and creating some pros and images and talking about what we see. So really our jobs as facilitators of this work is to guide the questions. So the beautiful thing is that in a session, there will be multiple perspectives, there's never a wrong or right answer, there's just multiple answers, and there's multiple questions. So I find that you can answer with a question, and there's a lot of room for that in what we do. In terms of uh, what do I learn by teaching this work? Um, I find that it allows space for me to profoundly connect, um, connect to communities and people I might not otherwise have the opportunity to gain a perspective with as well. Because when I'm in the room as a facilitator, I'm also amongst the group, and I'm also vulnerable, and I'm also with them. So it's not about me being the expert, even though I have some skills, and I'm there with you. But it's about us learning, and it's about me learning at the same time. I think Nadia is probably going to talk a little more about impact on that question. Um, yeah, impact is actually a question I ask myself in doing this work too, because I, I'm not sure how well it's been measured yet. Um, right. And then I think um, my first experience in, 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 in working with, I'm not an applied theater practitioner. So, uh, my first experience in using these methods was in developing programming um, with an Afghan civil society organization that was using these methodologies. And so, you know, you, there, you have like small, the, the evidence from there is anecdotal. Like, people participated in these workshops, went on to form their organizations who were working on specific victim or victim related issues. Um, People felt better. Uh, the thing is that how do you sustain that transformation in, in the workshop? I, I think is the question to answer because once you leave that space, carry these lessons with you, it's hard to maintain. So you know it's an issue uh, to consider. And I think it's a starting point. But I also think that I also think that the intention of the work is not just to do a workshop. You're, again, training takes a long time. All of us have degrees, and it takes a long time to learn what we know. So for the work to actually have an impact, for us actually to learn how to question one another and how to dialogue, it takes a long time. So the goal really, to, in order to measure the impact, we have to make a commitment to doing the work along the period of Yeah, and I think, I mean, going to like our paper in, in terms of uh, supporting educators, it wouldn't just, it wouldn't be a one-off. It would have to be a continuous process of community. Building community takes a long time, so peace building takes a long time. So um, this would sort of track that. Um, in terms of, I, I'm not actually, uh, I don't like theater necessarily if others fit in it, but I've, I've been forced to do it so many times. <laughs> and um, the reason I saw it as a tool to use in, in community settings, um, and it was also in working with other artists doing different things, was just how much these frames allow people to critically think and like to change strategies, to actually understand different perspectives, um, and, and empathize, but also just even in their own work, like the civil society groups who started using these methodologies came up with more interesting ideas, but they were allowed to break the mold of what traditional learning could be and to push what they could do. And I think that's where it's really useful in this as well. In education, I mean, it's sort of, 
puts the onus on the person to, to come up with their own solution and the empowering thing is that people can do it and people do do it um, every day. And so to bring that into a classroom, to, to bring that with helpers, I think just sort of bolsters confidence um, and, and, and 